Okay, um, let's go again. So, bot sort of plan bot Vinick, isn't it? Morris Smith Gambit had some good positions recently. So just just above twenty two hundred here, as usual, recently. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty difficult part of the auto pairing. Still a lot of title players floating around to play on this part of the auto pairing. Is he going to take on C3? I just want some sort of, I don't know, pressure or something. Maybe knight d4. Knight d4 here. Then queen a4. So he plays rook c8 though. I can play queen a7 to regain my pawn. So he moves the bishop, queen a4, rook c8, queen a7. Or, as the case may be, he doesn't play rook c8. G4 trying to win a piece takes knight c6. He takes his hat in bishop. Otherwise, queen g4 would have been would have been good. Why would the queen go there? I'm not for any knight f5. Didn't he just lose a tempo? All right, put the rook over. So I'm sort of getting a kind of Alakai Nimzovic game with the disaster on c6 coming up. So if I take on f5, again this g4 is also exacerbating maybe an issue. Bishop g4, knight c6, takes, queen takes, takes, knight b5, I'm on d6 there. So g4, bishop g6 though, he just ignores it, played bishop g6, but how would he develop the pieces here? If I played g4 and he played bishop g6, I just castle, how does he develop? If he plays bishop g4, I play knight c6, he takes, I take, he takes, knight b5, I'm protecting the rook, I'll be on, on d6. And he's got queen takes e5 there. So actually maybe my main advantage here is congestion. If I just castle, the rooks are saying hello to each other, connection, connecting the rooks. That's not a threat. It's pinned, I can just castle here. So he's still got congestion issues. So maybe g4 and f4 and then f5 though. I like this position. This is, dare I say, almost juicy. I mean, g4 here is trying to sort out the congestion issues at the cost of a pawn. If I take on g5, I can take on e7 and then c6 will be weaker. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to undermine c6 indirectly. A bit like the previous game's theme, you know, undermining of key squares. But um, is my king going to get it now for the g-file? Isn't c6 in trouble now? I've got one, two, three on c6. I've just undermined the defender. Also, isn't there knight takes f5, knight takes d5? Wow. Things have really hotted up here. If I take, I lose the queen. I take his queen. I know I could take the rook. Simple. And may may maybe effective just taking the rook because then I can take on f5, and if it takes, there's knight takes d5. So that looks like a major disaster. Okay, so knight takes b5, queen e5. There's queen takes b7 there. Where does the king go? That looks good enough as well. Just play queen takes b7. He didn't really manage to castle here. His rooks never said hello to each other so far. Is he still going to win though? <laughs> He's still alive. He can still win. Um, there's knight d6 if I want to connect my knights. Anything stronger? Any forcing moves rook c6? Not sure what it does. Knight a7 threatens mates. He just takes rook c6 and then knight a7 actually. Actually, isn't just knight d6 also forcing move, threatening c8 and e8, and the bishop's kind of pinned. If bishop takes d6, uh, queen takes g8, takes, then I can take the bishop. So I think I'll go with this. So bishop d6, queen takes g8. There's no rook g2. It's not a menacing threat at the moment, rook g2. There's no support for it, is there? I hope. 
So bishop d6, queen g8. I'm now threatening queen c8 and queen e8. Looks still looks juicy, dare I say it. Juicy position alert. Juicy position, juicy position. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so queen takes g8. I'll take on d6, I'm like a rook up. Uh, I'll take on d6. There's queen c8, another forcing move. Queen c8, king moves, knight takes d6. Any other forcing moves? There's um, there's rook c8. And but why would I give his bishop a chance to get in the game here? I just take it off here. He resigned, you know, because otherwise it's just a defensive piece lurking around, which is not needed. I can still play rook c8. I mean, it seemed logical. I'm a two up. He, I think he just resigned anyway. Okay, examined. Yep. So let's have a look at that again. That was that was. I enjoyed that one. I don't know if you guys detected that, but I like this kind of c6 disaster. He didn't really help c6 at all. Not at all with g5 because I'm just undermining c6 even more now. So until it's such a major problem, he's losing tons of material. So yeah, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.